we focus on the breath. Because our sensation of the breath is something that's exclusive to us. No one else can feel your breath the way you do. This is your territory. So it only makes sense that if you want to have a happiness that's independent of conditions, you have to build it in your territory. Of course, this isn't totally independent. It's only when you get to Nibbana that you're independent. But you can have relative independence. You can breathe in, breathe out in a way that feels good, and nobody else has to know. They haven't privatized the breath yet. It's still yours. So take advantage of it. Because if your happiness depends on things outside, they can change at any time. In which case, you're their slave. You have to spend all your time arranging things outside to be just the way you want them, and then they keep changing on you. It's a never-ending process. But if you can create a happiness inside, it can take you ultimately to a place that doesn't need to be arranged, doesn't need to be changed doesn't need to be maintained. That's when you have happiness that you can depend on. So you have to be independent so you can have a dependable happiness. This is where you start. Noticing how the breath feels, how you can change the breath. What ways of changing it make it feel better? What ways of changing it make it feel worse? Learn to get to know your own breath. We know so many other things in the world, but we know so little about our own breathing. Yet when we learn about it, we find it has lots of potentials. So to take advantage of those potentials, spend a lot of time with it. As the Buddha said, if you want to know a person, you want to know their virtue, you have to spend a lot of time with them and be very observant. In the same way with the breath. If you want to know your breath, you have to spend a lot of time with it and be very observant. You don't just watch, though. When you observe, you try to make changes, see what happens. It's like, again, like trying to know a person. You talk to the person. Ask questions. See what happens when the person acts in difficult situations, when it acts in easy situations. You get to know the person that way. It's so the same with the breath. Learn to be with your breath not only when you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. When there are added difficulties in staying concentrated, staying focused. See what you can do to gain a happiness that really is independent of things outside.